And that, my friends, is the Jeger LeCoultre Amvox 1 Alarm 42mm in stainless steel. This special edition watch can be seen and purchased on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This could be the perfect watch. Beautifully proportioned, historically inspired, yet thoroughly contemporary in its size, its features, and its standard of finish. This watch pays tribute to the JLC link to Aston Martin Automobiles. Now, as Jeger Instruments, the company actually provided dashboard tachometers, speedometers, and clocks to Aston Martin since the 1920s and into the 20th century. So there's real heritage here, and part of that heritage inspires the design. But most of the design heritage of this watch can be traced to the 1960s and the original Polaris super compressor case diving alarm. This watch takes after it in profile and its general detailing. Now you can see 15 millimeters thick, it has the chunky look of a vintage dive watch. So it will have trouble with the tightest of dress cuffs, but it shouldn't have too much trouble with general long sleeves. It's nicely pared down, being only 47 millimeters from extremity lug to lug, so it's not going to overlap even a small wrist. Even if your wrist is substantially smaller than 15 centimeters in circumference, you're going to have no trouble wearing this watch. And the beautiful combination of a black strap, a black lacquered dial, and a white metal goes well with anything. This is a casual watch. It's a formal watch, as casual or as formal as the occasion demands. Now, everything about it is elegant, comfortable, historically inspired, and yet up to the minute in terms of its fit and finish. The strap itself has a wonderfully supple leather that's calfskin, grained and tanned in a fashion evocative of vintage upholstery on old, maybe David Brown era, 1950s and 60s Aston Martin automobiles. Very comfortable, very soft. It's also very flexible. Again, great compatibility with a smaller wrist here. Beautifully bolstered as it approaches the lugs, it swells and then it actually arcs around the case, sort of enveloping it with a curved spring bar. So there's a very minimal gap between the end of the strap and the flanks of the case, yet it's not a conforming end piece, so it doesn't actually press and pin itself against the flank. That can sometimes create a stiff interaction with the wrist. You get none of that here, but you do get that visual coherence of the conforming rounded off spring bar. What you also get is a beautiful single deployant steel clasp. Now this is the older style JLC clasp. It was superseded by the double swing arm. The new one is perhaps a little bit more elegant. The old one, this one, is more substantial in the hand. This is actually one that I find a lot of people prefer precisely because it does have such a premium heft to it and beautifully finished inside and out. It's hard to fault that piece. Now the watch is wonderfully true to history. There's a little bit of Aston Martin dashboard instrument in here and a heck of a lot of Polaris. The Polaris references are laid on thick. You can see the general shape of the case looks like that master compressor case form used by so many 60s dive watches, including the original IWC Aquatimer, the Volcane Nautical Cricket, and of course, the 1965 and 1968 styles of the Polaris Diving Alarm from JLC. You see the recapitulated look of the triple crowns. Now the alarm is adjusted with the crown right here at two. I have it out because I don't want the alarm to just keep ringing. There is actually a bi-directional internal rotating bezel, just like that original Polaris, and that's controlled with the crown at center. And then this crown right here actually hacks the movement, stops the seconds hand, adjusts the calendar, winds the movement, and lets you set the time. The hands themselves are known as Calypso hands, and those two are true to JLC history. They were featured on a very low production Italian market exclusive run of the 1968 Polaris diving alarm. So again, a reference to the manufacturer JLC's history. So is the font used on the dial. All of the numerals and the calibrations are in the style of the old Polaris. And the Polaris link is taken so far as to sort of pantomime the look of the resonator case back on the original Polaris. Now that had 16 perforations to allow the case back to flood to create a resonator for the underwater alarm to let you know when your dive was over. It would magnify the intensity. Here you actually see 14 perforations. Just a little nod to the fact that 
Unbeknownst to those who purchased this watch in the mid-2000s, JLC did want to keep the 16 perforations exclusive to the Polaris because a full-blown tribute reedition was coming. But this Amvox alarm has its own identity, and it's proud of it, because in addition to the Polaris references, you have the look of an Aston Martin vintage dashboard instrument, a tachometer or a speedometer. You can see how the bottom 90 degrees of the dial is not calibrated. True to form, an automotive instrument will normally have the needle sitting st uh, stationary right about here at 7 o'clock to spring into action and then peg itself right about where my thumb is if you're really flooring it. But that bottom portion of the dial is normally uncalibrated and unswept, and so it's left blank right here with the company logo and marquee at 6 o'clock. It's a beautiful reference to the Aston Martin instrumentation and that shared history with JLC without being explicit. Indeed, the only overt co-branding is the case back, where you can see the Aston Martin winged logo, the Aston Martin company name, and the Note Special Edition. Now, there were several editions of the Amvox Alarm. The Amvox one was made in a 44 millimeter version called the R Alarm. That was made in titanium and platinum. Both of those were limited series of 500 and, I believe, 200, respectively. The titanium version of the Amvox 1 Alarm, the 42, was a edition of 1,000, I believe, and this one, although very low production, was not limited, strictly speaking. It was just a small production window, hence limited production, but not to a specific number. It is individually numbered, however, on the case back. Beneath that case back, you'll find JLC's caliber 918 automatic winding Memovox caliber. Now, it's based on the original 1969 bidirectional rotor winding caliber 916, the first modern high-beat JLC alarm movement. Now, in the early 80s, it was redesigned, and the 918 here actually features an exclusive wire, lo uh, sort of wire resonator that's actually free-hanging inside the case and gives this watch its incredible sustain volume and piercing tone. So it's a definite upgrade over the original 916, but it's just as tough. It's actually a fair bit thicker and more durable than the contemporary 889 Ultra Thin Automatic. So unlike a lot of the JLC dress watches with the fine, thin, but somewhat fragile 889, this one is good to go as a true sports watch. Now it does have five ATM water resistance, so it's not a true dive watch like the original Polaris, but you're good for splashes, getting stuck in the rain, that sort of thing. The watch does have immense sporting imagery, though. Now, the caliber, 260 parts, 22 joules. It does feature hacking seconds, so when you pull the crown, you can see the seconds hand there, you actually freeze the seconds hand, so now you have the ability to synchronize precisely to a reference time. Very precise, unlike those vintage instruments, this one has been through the JLC 1000 hours control an all-encompassing test of shock resistance, power reserve, and of course precision of the fully cased up watch. It's a fantastic combination of contemporary fit finish engineering and immense historical tradition at JLC. It's a beautiful watch and again with a white metal, a black dial, a strap, a deployant, stainless steel, complications that you can use every day, automatic and convenient because of it. This could be your only watch. If you're looking to have just one luxury watch on your wrist, or if you're looking to have just one JLC in your collection, this one is tied to so many threads of the manufacturer's history that I feel that unless you're going to go for some sort of all-time great Reverso variant, you really can't do any better than this. You can drive home this Aston Martin-inspired Jezier LeCoultre Amvox 1 Alarm, 42 millimeters in stainless steel, on our website, watchyouwant.com.